So we have discussed plosives, we have discussed fricatives, now we come to affricates. Affricates, yeah. There is only one affricate, hmm? one pair I mean, one pair. There are two consonant sounds, ch and j. Ch, 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 ch. This is how we pronounce it. Okay? Ch. This is how you write J and J. Okay? Do I need to write again? Okay. Th this is Ch and this is J. Yeah. So. Ch and J. Yeah. So here you have this is Ch is a voiceless post alveolar affricate. Hmm? Ch is a voiceless post alveolar affricate. And Ja is voiced post alveolar affricate. Post alveolar is you know, where, where, where is it written in vocal tract? Just behind the alveolar ridge. Okay? Just behind the alveolar ridge. Hmm? Is it okay? Yes. Sir. Yes. Now, I told you another word for post alveolar, which you find in books, so that you, you are not confused. I am telling you the other words also, which are there in the books and all, or which you find on the internet. So it's better that you know them. I had told you the word for, another word for post alveolar, remember? Palato alveolar. Palato alveolar. Yeah. Okay. So we begin with the word, with, with yes, uh, yes, cha, we are taking the cha sound first, hmm? Cha, 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 yes, chest we may take, because I can think of a rhyming word also, this can be gist, hmm? only, you know, like first sounds are uh, different, sounds that we are discussing, that is uh, the affricates, the chest you write like this, ch, 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 then you write chest, chest, this is how, chest, so they, only the difference is there, this, this is, okay, chest, chest you write like this, okay, chest. This is initial, chest, and just. Can you think of any other word? Choke. Hmm? Choke. Choke. Okay. Choke. You said choke. This is what you mean? Yes, sir. Okay. So you write like this. Ch. And then you write a diphthong. Diphthong. Choke. This is choke. Choke. This is how you write. Choke. And then you have joke. This see, this goes with a joke. Joke. Okay. Hmm? Joke. Joke. Is this the song you had in words like host, mo most? Remember? So this is initial. Now uh, come to the medial. Yes, medial. Where do we have it in medially? Like, uh, for example, teaching. We may say, hmm? teaching. Teaching. So you write T, T, T. This is long. T. Then you write Ch. Then you write in teaching. Teaching. This fine? Yes, sir. Teaching. And teaching, judging. Judging you may have here. Judging. Judging you will transcribe like this. First you write ja. See, here two ja sounds are coming. Ja. Ja, jud. 
Here this is repeated. Hmm? Judging. This is fine? Yes. Sir. So judging, teaching, and then here you, you have medial occurrence of ch sound, and here you have, say, initial as well as medial occurrence of j sound. J sound. Okay, good. Now we come to the final. Final occurrence of ch and say, yes. Suggest a word? Rich. Rich? Okay. Good. A good example. Rich. 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 Okay. So here you may have rich. This goes with it. This rhymes with it. Yes. Rich. Hmm? Rich and rich. And rich. Any other example that you can think of finally? Yes. Latch. 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 Okay, good. This is again a good example. Latch. 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 See, this is how you write latch. Here you may have badge. Badge. Hmm. Badge. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Watch. Have we uh, written all the three occurrences? Yes, sir. All the ch and ch sound? Yes, sir. Efficating? Okay. This uh, efficate. Efficate. So we have just one pair here. Okay. Efficates, as I told you, are like plosives. Here you have complete closure of A. Hmm? And then you keep it inside there in your mouth and then you release it gradually. And they are also like fricatives. Why? Because there is a friction here as well. But the friction is very slow and gradual. Friction is slow and gradual. Okay. Now, nasals. Hmm? Nasals. You know, in Hindi, you, you, you have uh, nasal sound there in, uh, uh, there, there in vowel sounds. Okay? Do you know one of the Hindi letter you have there uh, uh, in uh, the vowel sounds? Can you tell me which one is it? Can't think of? This one is the one. Hmm? Isn't it? Um, but we take this uh, there in consonants here in English language. But uh, like you do not have one letter in Urdu or Arabic or Persian or say other languages for that matter. And so, yes. The three nasal sounds in English language, the more you, you know, you, 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 you pronounce it like this. Mm, 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 ma. Okay? Miss, your lips are completely closed. Mm, then, no. Mm, mm, no. Um, um, mm, mm. This is how it is pronounced. So, what is this? is a voiced bilabial laser. Ma is a voiced bilabial. 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 Why? See, you know, you, you, your two lips are articulating. They are touching each other. But mm, mm, mm. That's what. Mm, mm. So your two lips are the articulators. That's why it's bilabial. Bilabial is voiced bilabial. Uh, nasal. nasal. So this is the theory of description. And this is again voiced. Alveolar nasal, voice alveolar nasal, and this one is uh, voice velar nasal. Yes. So we are discussing nasals. First, we are coming. These, these are these, these are you know uh, individual consonants, single consonants. They are not discussing pair. So I'm taking mom first. So it's uh, the task becomes easier because there you have to think of rhyming words. 
you don't need to think of adding words. If, if they come to your mind, then that's fine. Man, for example. How do you write man? This is how. Hmm? And um, the other example that you gave there, myth. Myth will also go here. Okay? Or you say male, for example. Male. Hmm? The email, I mean. Mail. Mailbox. Mail. Mail. You know, while I'm writing this, I can think of one word which rhymes with it and that begins with na. Okay, I'm taking na as well here. Hmm? Lest I should forget, I'm writing it here. This is nail. Hmm? Nail. Same, same, same pronunciation. You know, pull on the sound. Nail. Nail. Okay. This is, uh, this is initially. And then, yes, for example, map. You may have another word, map. I don't know, like I can think of a rhyming word with map also. This is nap. Is it not? Hmm? So this it completes here, you know, in the second uh, one. Nap. This is how you write. Nap is, is. And now, uh, let's talk about the, um, say, yeah? Immediately. Yeah. Yummy. Okay. Yummy. Something is yummy. Yummy. What does yummy mean? Tasty. Okay. How do, how do you write here? Yeah. yeah, you write. This is how you write here. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. This is how you transcribe it. Yummy. Yummy. Is I can think of, uh, say, incidentally, I can think of a rhyming word with yummy also. This is funny. Funny. So you have initial sound, middle sound here. Hmm? So we are completing two together. Okay? We are completing ma as well as na. We are completing na as well. Hmm? Don't say that I have not done. I have not given examples. I have given you two examples with initial sound. I have given you one with the medial, uh, say medial occurrence here as well, and then the last one. Okay, uh, okay. Finally, where do you have ma? Like you have line. Hmm? Line. How you write line? Line. Line water. Hmm? Lemonade. Line. This is how you write line. Line. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Lime. Here you can have, finally, you can have, say, lime. You can have fine here. See, if this rhymes, lime, fine. I mean, as far as diphthong is concerned. You, you, you have the same diphthong here also. Is it not? Yes, sir. Fine. Yes. And say, you may have some here, some. Some. Here too, you know, ma is occurring at the end. Ma sound sum, and there you have sun. I, I, I will take the word directly. Uh, this, this is what I mean, sum. Because th this is how it's written. Sum. And sun. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is how. This is sum, and this is sun. Sun. Fine? Yes, sir. Or you, you may have sim, and you may have sin here. I'm writing more words because you know, I can think of rhyming words into this incidentally. Sin, sin. Hmm? And if you want one more word, you can have sin. You have a word with ung sound as well. Anyway, we are taking that individually now. Otherwise, you know, we can write in between. Okay. Hmm? Sing. Now, this, this is final occurrence. Hmm? We can. Th shall we continue here? Yes, sir. Or shall I repeat off? Is it required? Like I can write there in the center with sounds with ang sound. Hmm? Say, say, you know ang doesn't occur initially. Obviously, it doesn't occur initially. You cannot have a word with ang sound. So, initially you write nil. 
medially what do you have you have single you have angle hmm? you have mingle so many words you have hmm? you have a number of words so can you tell me one which one are you taking let's take angle angle triangle angle 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 and this is how you transcribe fine angle okay angle say yes or no yes sir okay so a, a sound and then on the sound then the an angle even in english english okay english we transcribe this way only english english here you have the middle utterance and this is a word you know which they often give for transcription since you study transcription there in english say whether it's a compulsory english or say uh, say optional english i mean english shall be right e and then you write say yes ing english in which english in which so you right yes in which english 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 this is how you write in english because you know it's almost pronounced this is also pronounced and this is clearly pronounced ga sound this way you write in english otherwise you know like finally you do not have like in words like king and all if you write king this this will do this 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 king thus this, this will do king hmm? finally this is king and say thing for example thing how do i think tha and ye yeah, thing this will do when you know you you pronounce g slightly you don't need to write it again this is because this is g sound you already have g included in there but where it is clear g like in english then you do need to write it is it fine finally you can have sung for example okay or thing i have written sung sing i have written i think sing sing i have written sung you write how do you write sung sung you write like this in english you write like this sung this is okay so we have completed the nasals mo no and um and all the three stages for ung sound you do not have the initial letters